Good morning, brothers. JK, your brother in this struggle here on my way back from the gym. Welcome to another episode of Porn Reboot Coach in the Porsche. Today, we're going to be talking about the concept of taking it easy, bro. <laughs> I'm JK Maisie. I'm the founder of Elevated Recovery and head coach at Porn Reboot Systems. We are the planet's number one coaching resource for ambitious executives, business owners, and professionals who are looking to end their secret out of control sexual behavior as soon as possible. We've been doing this for a decade now. It is 2022. Any, any issues you have regarding your out of control sexual behavior, we are the place to be. All right, let me make this turn. So a couple of weeks ago, I got sick. It was a precursor to COVID and it was one of the best things that happened to me. I say that because it allowed me to slow down for a little bit see that I was in the gap and basically get some clarity about where I needed to go next and what I needed to do in different areas of my life. Wonderful thing. However, some brothers commented along the lines of, and I'm paraphrasing here, one brother said, and no offense to these brothers, I'm not mad at you, love you guys. He said, you know, maybe you and I, because he'd been going through something similar, needs to just take the summer off and chill and then, you know, regroup and take over the world, you know, later on in the year. Another one on an unrelated video recently said, for real, bro, no disrespect intended, but you should take it easy, man. Don't try and fill the buckets. Don't try and build the buckets. I think he said, fill the bucket or let the buckets fill up, all right? So I love you guys. And I can only relate to statements like that in one way. But before I jump into that, let me clarify one thing. That term, take it easy, I must admit that it is a term that I have been guilty of using as a way of telling guys goodbye, right? So it's my well wish. Just a bad habit, to be honest with you. I'll say, hey, take it easy, bro. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. And I've just been doing this my entire life. I don't even remember where it came from and I should probably change it. Just wanted to acknowledge that. But the only way I can relate to these statements is honestly, this was the way that when I was a rebooting porn addict, this was the thing that people used to tell me to do when, whenever I would get a sense of urgency about all the things that I had lost to my porn addiction, right? The ability to be in relationships, the ability to build intimacy. My spiritual reboot capital was non-existent. Physically, I just didn't look the way I wanted to look. I wasn't taking care of myself. When it came to literally my mental reboot capital. I wasn't a guy who was reading on a regular basis. I wasn't educating myself. Very lazy ways of getting information from videos and you know other people's experience, like secondhand stories, getting facts from bullshit places, reading ridiculous blogs to get my information. So different areas of my life were a mess. And anytime I would try to put my foot on the accelerator, those in my life would say, take it easy, man. Like, don't push too hard you're gonna burn out, this is gonna happen, and that's gonna happen. And that's one of the places where my issue with recovery came up. Recovery, this is a very simplistic, not even simplified, simplistic definition, is recovering the things that you lost to your out of control sexual behavior or your addiction, whatever it might be. And I just realized that time had passed, I had grown, things had changed, and I was going to spend years recovering things but the only thing i was recovering let's say for instance that you are 37 years old or you're 29 years old or you're 42 years old and you start going through recovery to regain certain things maybe you're doing well in business and you've got a family you've got these things but you don't know how to be intimate you have porn induced erectile dysfunction you're very irritable you're always angry you don't know how to manage your energy you want to recover these things you can only recover them as far as like if you missed the boat when you were in your 20s for instance or in your 30s you're only going to go so far you'll never know what it's like to have the energy levels of a 20 something year old you'll never know what it's like to experience intimacy when you're in your 20s the boat has sailed what are you recovering it's absolutely unrealistic because time has passed you've grown you've matured so what exactly are you recovering Right? For those of you who are trying to recover your financial reboot capital and get your shit together and you're like, okay, I want to be well off or I want to be wealthy and you're, you know, you're 39 years old 
if you missed the boat when you were in your 20s, you just lost that entire decade, sometimes 20 years of business experience, of intuition that you could have built up. What are you recovering? That's why we have the concept of rebooting because it's customized to you, where you are in life. And we can get you to most places, but we're going to be realistic. But the key point is when you're rebooting, you can't take it easy. You can't what, take a fucking summer off. You can't. You're hitting the reset button, brother. When you hit the reset button, it means we're starting from scratch, but not scratch when you were 20 years old. We're starting from scratch at where you are in your life. So you don't get to take it easy when you've wiped the slate clean, so to speak, and you're starting from down here. What are you taking it easy for? Take a day off. Maybe take the weekend off if you need to, but you don't need to take the summer off, right? And this whole thing of just like fill the bucket, don't have to build the bucket, let the bucket fill up. Motherfucker, you don't have a bucket. <laughs> you never had a fucking bucket. You got to build your own bucket. I had to build my own bucket. What the fuck was I filling up? right some of you might have a bucket with holes everything you just try to put in the bucket falls out because your porn addiction has punctured that thing right so you're not filling up any shit you've been trying to fill it up on your own doesn't fill up you're like oh let me talk to jk and you're like oh fuck i need a new bucket i need to hit the reset button that's what i need are you guys getting this you may have gone through saa you may have worked with a therapist. All these things have similarities to porn reboot. Some foundational principles are the same. There are similarities because these are still sexually compulsive behaviors. But at the end of the day, it's still different in the approach, in the energy, in the mindset. A lot of the core principles are quite different. So gentlemen, if you are at some point in your life, especially, especially if you are under the age of 35 years old and you are not where you want to be financially or in your relationships, your relationships with women, if you're not where you want to be in terms of your self-discipline, you do not have the luxury of taking it easy. People have been telling me to take it easy since I was 21 years old. They were telling me this is going to happen to you. That is going to happen to you. All these things. Oh, you missed all your summers. You're working 80 hours a week. You're selling books door to door. Take it easy, man. Take it easy. I didn't take it easy. I'm here. I'm fucking thriving. Right? Like all the people who, no offense, all the people telling me to take it easy. God, I don't want to be mean. Like all the people who are my age telling me to take it easy except for my closest friends, the dudes who stayed as my friends through my 20s? Oh, well, you can guess, right? I just go to Facebook. I have a different Facebook. I have a Facebook for people who grew up with me that I log into like once or twice a year, and then I have a completely different Facebook where I interact with winners like you guys, right? I'm not saying they're losers or implying that. I'm just saying that I'm never going to take it easy, all right? You can take it easy in the morning. When I do my two hours of meditation, I'm sitting there, I'm taking it easy. It's work, but I'm taking it easy. My ass is sat down. My eyes are closed. My mind is doing nothing. I'm taking it easy. In the evening, I do that. When my head hits the pillow, I'm taking it easy. What else do you need to fucking take easy? When you wake up in the morning, you are put on this planet to work. For those of you who are Christian, it is a disrespect to God to waste your time when you waste your time you spit on your existence right when you're fucking around doing nothing productive for yourself or for other people and yes chilling and relaxing is productive because you need to regain that energy but look at any other creature look at the ants ants are constantly working look at them these fuckers are just the go 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 they are fulfilling their purpose what the fuck are you doing taking it easy guys Please, first of all, <laughs> avoid telling me that shit, right? That's the first thing I want to tell you. The second thing is find out for yourself that all this shit about like burnout and I feel low, all these different things, they're just going to happen. They're going to happen. They're going to slow you down. Your body is going to tell you when you need to slow the fuck down, right? Some people have a higher capacity 
for work and for a few different things. It may take them a little bit longer before they get hit with it, but listen to your body, right? If you don't listen to your body, your body's gonna force you to do something. The final thing that I wanna say is controversial, but personally, I've realized that in order for me to accomplish any of my goals, when I was rebooting, before I filled up my buckets, and I built those buckets, reboot capital, and I filled those little fuckers up, before I started filling them up, not all of them I filled up, some of them <laughs> really need some work, to be honest with you guys. But before I did that, I realized that I had to sacrifice something in order for me to reboot. I wanna say that again. I had to sacrifice something. And you have to decide what you're gonna sacrifice. Some of you don't wanna sacrifice anything. The dudes who think they can come into the implementation program and the intensive program and they're like, I don't need to sacrifice anything, right? I'll just create time for this. No, when you say you're going to do something and you're going to invest in something and you're gonna transform your life or you're gonna go through some program, you have to decide what exactly you are going to give up in your life in order to create space for that because time is finite. Now, if you've been fucking around on the couch, eating Cheetos and doing nothing, yeah, you might find the time, but frankly speaking, our programs are up there in price. They're quite expensive. So if you've been sitting around on the couch, fucking around, you probably can't afford to join the program, frankly speaking, but you're going to have to sacrifice something. In my 20s, I sacrificed sleep. Hardcore. Why? Because I was young and my body could take it. Now I'll sacrifice sleep strategically but I know that the price I pay in my 30s is much higher because my body is just not the same. It's just not the same hormone levels, not the same amount of growth hormone that's being secreted. There's so many things that my body's basically not going to rejuvenate and heal and recover the same way it used to when I was in my 20s. And I'm so glad that I had mentors who explained this to me, that dude, you can really push in your 20s but once you get to a certain point in your 30s, regardless of how healthy you are, I mean, I'm shooting these videos coming back from the gym. I run my ass off. I do yoga. I do martial arts. I eat clean as I can. I do all these things, but there's still something missing. Like there's a certain thing that I had in my 20s where you could just fucking pop out of bed and just go, 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 go that isn't there. So gentlemen, decide what you're going to sacrifice and please let go of the whole taking it easy thing like i am very very skeptical i could go on on this because i actually have some stories from growing up and just specific things that family members would tell me and how now i'm the one financially supporting those family members and don't get me wrong here's the crazy thing these family members were not lazy these family members were people who were really working their asses off and they were like yeah you know i work really hard and at the end of the day, I get to chill and drink a beer and all of these things. I was never like that because I saw what happened to my family. I can work hard, but at the end of the day, I'm going for my fucking second shift. You're like, what? Second shift? Yeah. Gentlemen, I run other businesses. I have investments, or rather, I don't run them. I have... Hold on, let me make this turn. I have interests in other businesses, which means that I'm a partner in other businesses. But I have a role to play. The contract stipulates that as a partner, there are certain things I have to do and I have to get that shit done. They don't care how many hours I put into elevated recovery, right? So I do that second shift. I work that second shift. I have my reasons for it, but there are things I have to sacrifice. And I watch people in my life that I loved very much for many years work their asses off, but then they took it easy and they would tell me to take it easy. Like you work so hard, like you already put in 65, 70 hours. Why would you put in a few more hours? Like, just take it easy, man. You're gonna be this and you're gonna be that. You're gonna be all these things. It didn't happen. Gentlemen, let me put that like this. That's not what this channel is about. So this channel is about helping you end your out of control sexual behavior. But we have a program called, and I really didn't plan to say this, so this wasn't intended to be a pitch, but I just remembered that in our financial reboot program, we're gonna be talking about this. 
the first part of the financial reboot program is really just going to be talking about your mindsets and you can take that and apply that to any aspect of your reboot capital the reason why i'm focusing on it in the financial reboot capital is really because that's where men have some of the biggest limiting beliefs and let's be honest about a few things gentlemen as men there are certain things that are going to bring us respect men respect strength they respect physical strength they respect mental strength they respect spiritual strength they respect the fact that you have your finances in order these are things that men intrinsically respect you can try as much as you want to be woo woo you can try as much as you want to be vulnerable and spiritual and conscious and say that all this shit doesn't matter good luck fucking repressing that shit go out there define what you need as a man stop fucking taking it easy go out there and get it stop listening to these dudes who tell you to take it easy it's not so important be yourself are you fucking happy with yourself right now probably not i wasn't happy to, with myself and i stopped listening to these fuckers who were telling me hey man you need to take it easy sorry bro the bro said the bucket thing i'm gonna bring it up again you know like like let the bucket fill itself fill the bucket don't build the bucket no one is coming no one is going to give you a bucket you don't have a bucket <coughs> jesus christ someone's gonna come in the comments and be like jk take it easy you know on your rants blah 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 a lot of these rants i'll be honest with you guys a lot of these rants are just when i'm doing it it's not to you guys it's really to the younger jk it's just me yelling at the younger JK. When I wake up in the morning, guys, my best mornings are not the mornings that are filled with peace. Or rather, my best days. My best mornings are the ones that are filled with peace and mindfulness and focus and all those wonderful things. But my most productive days, my best days are the days when I wake up with fear. When I wake up with the fear of 19-year-old JK, of 20-year-old JK, of the fucking loser, who wasn't going to make it. I mean, this dude was not going to make it. This dude used to say shit like, I'll invest in that or I'll buy that. Or maybe when I win the lottery, I'll buy a house. Can you believe that shit? I used to sit around and I would see a Porsche go by and I would say, yeah, that's cool, man. That's a Porsche, right? I used to say that shit. I got to the point and a dude would drive by in a Porsche or a nice car and I'd be like, what does that dude do? Why can't I do this? That just happened with me rebooting. Just me going through my own system that I was creating, everything in my head changed. And I am so fearful, deep down inside, of still being that guy, of fucking up and going back there. And I wake up with fear in my heart, in my chest those days, oh my God, I crush it. I crush it. I am getting as far from that dude as possible. And don't get me wrong, guys. Don't get me wrong. I'm not afraid of losing everything. I'm not. Because I know that everything that got me to where I am today, all of those things are internal resources. But at the same time, I use that fear strategically and I have control over it. I can still, during my meditation, sit down and I can just observe the fear. I can surf it and I observe its nature and eventually it passes. But I can also harness that fear and that's what I mean. Sometimes you can't harness that fear, especially when you're younger and you're living with your out of control behavior. If you can't harness it, it's fine. Just fucking ride the thing and slowly learn how to control it. At a certain point, you will be able to use it as a tool to push you because it's a fucking great motivator. I'm going into a whole different topic. I appreciate you guys for watching. Listen, if you're not in our Facebook group, you need to join. So many of you are, no offense, asking stupid ass questions on YouTube. Really, can you give me some tips? Help me, bro. Get the fuck out of my comment sections, right? Get into our group. Put something in the place where it says there are three questions in the group. Make a case for yourself. Oh, just click. I want to join your group. You don't answer the fucking questions. You don't agree to the rules. Tell us, I am a avid listener to your YouTube channel. You think we just let anybody into the group? No, we don't. It's only for serious guys. It's a free group. So if you come bitching in the community section, JK, you don't let me into your group. I'm like, I hit up somebody on the team. I'm like, hey, this dude, I've seen his name. He comments on my YouTube all the time. He wants to join the group. They're like, yeah, I saw him, but he just clicked. He didn't agree to any of the rules. He didn't do low fucking effort shit. If you ask low effort questions, if you make a low effort to be part of our group, why the fuck do I want to talk to you? Right? So gentlemen, join the group. I respond 
with video longer than these ones when I have the time to your specific question. And again, you don't have to pay me a dime to answer it. Is it going to get you to the point where you can rewire your brain? Maybe some guys say it does. I don't know if it does. I know that there are a lot of guys who have said that, dude, I've rewired my brain. I followed you for years and I'm moving on from your channel. And that's a wonderful thing to hear. But gentlemen, join our group right if you can't afford to join the intensive program or the implementation program that's fine join the free group when the financial reboot comes out join it join the biochemistry challenge because it's fucking free right now and it will cost thousands of dollars in a couple of months when you see the things we're trying to do so don't fucking send me no email oh god i'm in rant mode this is the wrong car for it i should be driving the black porsche for this one but does that mean email saying that oh shit it's overpriced value a lot of my courses started for peanuts Right? So when you hear me say, we're launching this, we're bringing in a financial advisor, we're bringing in all these, and by the way, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to do an official announcement for that. Gentlemen, join when it's free. Right? Just sit your ass in there and start doing the work when you can. All right? Enough said. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm going to start my day. I was going to say take it easy, but don't take it easy. Bye. <laughs>